guys, how are you doing, you beautiful, gorgeous people of the web? And thank you so much once again for clicking on my channel. Um, if you guys are new, I'm James, I'm from the UK, and on my channel we do lots of Elvis Presley reactions to the King, which I normally upload on a Monday, but um, I got wrapped up in watching the Queen's funeral yesterday and I didn't realise, I just thought it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, and I'm not particularly like a royalist, but then... I felt like it reminded me of losing my nan last year, so there was so much emotion yesterday and I was like, nope, uh, I just don't want to turn my computer on. But um, yeah, it was beautiful, she had an amazing send-off if anyone saw it. And um, yeah, it just signifies like the end of an era really. I guess like kind of when Elvis died, I think you always have certain people in your life, or especially when you get someone like as big as Elvis, where it defines like the end of an era. and. For Elvis's older fans, I guess it kind of signifies a moment in time of of innocence and of change because he was such a cultural impact on music and popular culture in general. So it wasn't a case of just a celebrity passing, but I think he was like bigger than that. But with that said, today we're going to be reacting to someone's requested me to do Mary in the Morning, which I've never heard. Um, if you are new to my channel, guys, click on my playlist, catch up with my other Elvis Presley reactions to the king and uh, please don't forget to subscribe below give the video a like it and let's get into this guys Once again, he's done that thing where he's blown me away again because he's using different elements of his voice. I feel like this sounds very country-ish, kind of inspired, and um, just the softness of his voice, it impresses me as much as everything that he can do, just the softness, like, Mary in the morning, it kind of reminds me of that, kind of like, I don't know what year this was, I'm going to guess it was like late 60s or 70s, let me see if it says, I'm intrigued. It has a kind of certain sound of music, a lot from that era. Does it say? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know. I feel like it's like late 60s, 70s. This. But it's absolutely beautiful. His voice sounds incredible. Let's go back a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
and starlight in her hair. And as we walk, I hold her close beside me. That's like really, really new for me. I think that might even be in my top 10 Elvis songs I've ever heard. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's going straight into my playlist. I might listen to that this morning on the way to work. I, find, I love everything about it. I feel like it's got such an innocence about it. It's got a deep, it's a song that kind of defines the era of music that you'll never hear again. I love, love, love the instrument. Um, instrumental and, and, and instruments used throughout the song. I feel like it's a, um, I don't know if it is a harmonica and um, just the strings and it's just got such a delicacy and innocence and it just shows everything that he can do with his voice um, in different areas and his voice, and I've said it before, but his voice is so adaptable to so many genres of music and because there's such an authenticity in his voice, he can pull it off and not everyone can do that. I've said this before because you get some people, especially like, <laughs> I'm not going to say who, you get some R&B artists and they'll cover a song. And it's not a bad thing, but when they cover a song, they make it sound, how can I put it? It's kind of like they can't pull off other genres of music when they do it. It's like, oh, you've lost that kind of grit of what a country song should be or what this should be or what that should be. But when you've got a voice that is so eclectic and so universal it can it doesn't matter what genre of music you sing it just has the ability to connect and sound authentic within its genre does that make sense i know what i mean but i just think it is such a beautiful song it it sounds like a lullaby and i just wow it gave me chills i literally had chills down my neck at one point um i think the lyrics were so beautiful as well um so timeless just shows music from that era is so timeless um one of my favorite elvis things i've reacted to actually thank you so much for recommending that i love the images as well there's certain images there of elvis that i've never seen and it was just it was just a very kind of almost like a time capsule song that really took me on a journey and really made me feel something and um, which elvis's voice always does so um there we go and um, let me know what you guys think of this song a bit of background about it do you like this song um as always thank you for your support and um, if you need to my channel click on my playlist click on elvis press so you can ca catch up with myself and elvis fans there thank you for your support don't forget to subscribe below give the video a like it and have a really beautiful week guys take care bye